Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining today's webinar, Organizational Excellence Framework. My name is Kat Amato, the Sales and Marketing Director at Cogno. If you have any questions or any training needs that I can help you with, please feel free to email me directly at kat, K-A-T, at cogno.com, and I'll be more than happy to help you. That email again is kat, K-A-T, at cogno.com. As a thank you for attending today's webinar, we're offering everyone an exclusive 30% discount off of any of the courses we have available in our marketplace from today's host author, Dawn Ringrose. After the event, we'll be emailing everyone a list of Dawn's courses so you can take advantage of the savings. We'll also include a link to today's webinar recording so that you can share that with any, uh, any colleagues or friends that were not able to, to uh, attend today's event. I also want to mention that Cogno has a robust training university solution available to each of you at no cost if you don't have one already. The training university makes it easy for your staff to find training they need and a breeze for your training admin to manage employee training. Some of the many features of the training university include the ability to curate your own library of training to make available to your staff. You can even upload your own internal training documents. Your staff can then request a, a course that they want to take, and your admin can assign or suggest courses. The Training University comes with full tracking and reporting capability, and you can save up to 30% on all your training course, course needs from the Cogno Marketplace. Again, this is available to you with no upfront costs, so simply email me directly or leave a message in the, ch uh, the chat feature of the GoToMeeting panel, and I'll be happy to send you some more information and get you all set up. In addition to the courses from our host author today, Don Ringrose, we also have thousands of courses in virtually every business to topic available in our marketplace, including human resources, safety, software, business management and soft skills training, just to name a few of the topics available. So be sure to check out our website to search the various options available. Our host author today is Dawn Ringrose from Flevy. Dawn Ringrose is the principal of Organizational Excellence Specialist Inc. and the author of the Organizational Excellence Framework and Related Toolkit. She is committed to transferring knowledge to professionals and organizations so they can achieve exceptional results and is currently the representative for Canada on the Organizational Excellence Technical Committee and Global Benchmarking Network. So it's with great pleasure that we welcome Don Ring Ringwood today, Ringrose, excuse me, today. Thank you very much, Kat. I'm very pleased to be here. And I'm coming to you from sunny Vancouver Island on the west coast of Canada. Well, today's presentation is about a platform for long-term organizational success. It's built on a tried and true foundation. Uh, the research that has told us about the principles and the best management practices that are common to high-performing organizations. This has been validated by over 20 years of research, and I've experienced it firsthand myself working with organizations across sectors to use these best management practices. The foundation for the platform is a turnkey toolkit that includes a publication that transfers knowledge, workshops, and an automated assessment tool that assists with implementation. This presentation is going to provide a quick tour of the toolkit and share benefits for organizations and professionals alike. There will be time at the end of the presentation for questions that you might have. Today's organizations are faced with many challenges. Globalization, productivity, technologies, demands from consumers, their workforce, governance, sustainability, and leaders use all sorts of popular management tools to address these challenges. They use customer relationship management systems, benchmarking, strategic planning, and so forth. A recent study done in 2011 by ASQ concluded that an excellence model would be the best approach to address these challenges. In fact, this study also suggested that an excellence model would be the entry point to the marketplace for businesses in the future 
and would also contribute to better performance in government and non-government organizations. And it's been my experience over the last 30 years working as a management consultant that an excellence model can be used to address most issues confronting organizations. So a question to you is, have you ever heard of excellence models? It seems to be a, quite a well-kept secret. Some excellence models include Baldridge, EFQM, the Canadian Framework for Excellence, the Australian Business Excellence Framework. But you know, there's only 10% of the working population that even has heard about excellence models or knows much about them. I've noted this in the research and I've also noted it in my experience asking this same question to various audiences over time. Well, these models were developed back in 1990 and have been updated over time. They define the principles and best management practices used by high-performing organizations. And they've been validated by research that shows that implementing an excellence model is positively related to developing a culture that is committed to excellence and to improving organizational performance. Some of my favorite uh, research studies over this uh, last two decades has, has been one in Australia that looked at eight municipal government councils facing challenges and really validated how they use the excellence model to make a difference uh, in terms of improving their performance across the balanced system of measurement. There's another study in the United States that showed that role model organizations across sectors use the excellence model to improve their performance. And this spanned manufacturing, service, small business, healthcare, education, and nonprofit. In Europe, they did a really wonderful study that showed that organizations that were implementing uh, an excellence model had continuously improving results over time and that they really outperformed their counterparts that did, were not using an excellence model. In Canada, of course, been tracking results here of award recipients and noting improvements across things like employee turnover, cost savings, customer and employee satisfaction, cycle time, price savings for clients, um, employee pride, even trust and leadership. And in Asia, we know that they use excellence models in companies there for long-term competitiveness and sustainability. So what do most companies do or most organizations do when they want to implement an excellence model or take advantage of these best management practices? There's organizations that try to do it themselves, those that take training, those that even seek implementation assistance. This is what we most commonly see. And the first component of the turnkey teal, uh, toolkit is a publication that helps people understand, well, what is an excellence model and what's contained within it? In addition to the toolkit, there are in, the other components of the toolkit, in addition to the publication, are workshops and an automated assessment and reporting tool. But the foundation for the entire toolkit is this publication. It's 240 pages in length, and it really provides a nice big umbrella under which all excellence approaches fit. You know, whether it's an excellence model, uh, the use of ISO, Lean, Six Sigma, or a variety of management tools and techniques. This publication really builds on a solid foundation because it integrates all of the excellence models that we have globally. It defines those principles and the best management practices. It fills a gap in the literature in that it provides implementation guidelines that are used by seasoned management consultants. It highlights the interrelationships between the principles and the best management practices, and it provides a really nice balanced system of measurement for internal and external benchmarking. It also shares an assessment and improvement planning methodology that organizations can use. And it offers tremendous flexibility as it can be used with any size and type of organization by professionals anywhere in the world. And it can be in, used in conjunction with any award program. The workshops are the second component to the toolkit. And the workshops offer either a holistic or modular approach they all follow a similar format in that they transfer knowledge to the participants, they provide an opportunity to self-assess an organization and develop an improvement plan to address gaps, and they really set the stage for implementation efforts by employees or those external professionals that you might be working with as well. The holistic workshops, 
guide the implementation of the excellence model over a, a number of years. There's separate workshops for different sizes of organizations, whether you have a very small organization, like a micro size organization with one to 25 employees, or if you have a larger size organization with over 26 employees. Both holistic workshops are included in the price for the holistic workshop, so you get a two for one uh, advantage. Um, and then on the modular workshops, these are the ones that address each of the key management areas that are part of the model. And what they do is provide more detail on these topics and they transfer knowledge and guide work on specific issues that the organization might be facing. The benefits of, of the workshops are, are numerous. You know, number one, they're very flexible. So they allow the organization to implement the entire model or just work on a particular key management area. They provide guidance for the facilitator because they include notes to follow when conducting the workshops. They address different learning styles. Uh, the use of quotes, hand-on exercises, best-in-class examples really appeal to visual, auditory, or kinesthetic learners. They offer good value for the dollar, as each workshop can be used numerous times by the professional that purchases it. This is a unique selling feature that you don't find uh, with a lot of other workshops that are available in the marketplace today. They assure alignment with other items in the toolkit so that they align nicely with the publication and the automated assessment and reporting tool. And they can be customized by adding material specific to an industry sector, translating to another language, or even adding an identity, a logo, a name to them. Some examples of customization uh, follow. We have jokes that inject a little bit of humor into a presentation or workshop. There's quotes to reflect on and discuss. There's pictures that stimulate discussion, hands-on exercise that provide fun activities, video clips that share best practices and examples in humorous situations that dovetail with the presentation materials, and best-in-class examples that describe high-performing organizations all around the world. The third component is the automated assessment and reporting tool. And this automated system captures data or the ratings that individuals in an organization would have about the organization. To what extent is it characterized by the principles that describe the culture? To what extent is that organization uh, deployed the best management practices? Whether it's the leader or all the employees in an organization, this system captures that data and their open-ended comments and it generates an action-oriented report to guide implementation. So this tool has many benefits. Number one, it offers two types of assessment. There's a teaser assessment on the principles, or there's a full assessment on both the principles and the practices. It accommodates different sizes of organizations. On the basis of the number of employees, the full assessment defaults to either the micro size or the larger size version. It captures all the data and information on the respondents, starting with the demographics of the organization, the position that they hold, the type of organization, the industry sector and industry subsector, captures the ratings, captures their open-ended comments. It provides hints for the respondent as they move through the assessment. If they want to know more about the statements or the rating scale, they just hold their cursor above the item to gain more information. It assures confidentiality for the respondent by assigning a number that corresponds to the open-ended comments. It will accommodate one or more respondents so that you can self-assess an entire organization or across an industry sector or even a region. It assists with benchmarking internally or externally with others. And it provides time and cost savings by fully automating the collection of data and preparation of action plans to address gaps. I must say that this used to take us years ago several days to do this work manually and now we can do it uh, in, in record time by the push of a, a button once the ratings are in. Uh, an action-oriented report can be generated and then used for implementation in, in the organization. 
These action plans can be assigned to employees so they're involved and engaged in improvement. And this way of working really accelerates performance improvement for the organization and helps to create a culture that is committed to excellence. At this point in the presentation, I might just turn it back to Kat uh, as she, she has a few words to share. Oh, thanks, Don. Well, just as a reminder, uh, after today's webinar, I'll be emailing everyone information about the other courses available in our marketplace from Dawn, along with the 30% discount uh, to use for yourself or share with your colleagues who were not able to attend today's event. And also, again, if you have any specific training need, please email me the topic. I'll be happy to provide some course recommendations and uh, some discount options for you. Uh, Dawn, back to you. OK, thanks, Scott. I'd like to uh, review some of the overall benefits for the organization of, of using this toolkit. Number one, it provides a really solid foundation on which to develop an organization. It can be applied to any size or a type of organization at any stage of the organization life cycle. It provides a really integrated and coordinated path for the excellence journey and a way to drive tangible results. It gives you a good understanding of the interdependencies and the interrelationships between the principles and the best management practices and how each best management practice really contributes to the principles and interrelates with other practices. It provides an opportunity to reduce non-value adding activity that you might find in an organization. You can reduce those costs of errors, waste, sources of customer and employee dissatisfaction duplication and rework, and it helps to encourage the investment in activities that are prevention activities or appraisal activities that will help prevent failures that are very, very costly. Additional benefits for the organization include becoming an employer of choice. Many of the practices contribute to employee involvement, engagement, health and wellness, and these practices are attractive to the working population and capitalize on research that shows us that implementing an excellence and health and wellness practices will provide for a quantum leap in organizational performance. It also provides for a balanced system of measurement that can be used to benchmark performance internally over time or externally with other organizations. It offers an umbrella that allows all initiatives to be brought together to form one comprehensive system. And this, is, this includes things like ISO and Lean and Six Sigma and uh, occupational health and safety, customer service programs, and the like. It also adds value to a business by capitalizing on recognition from the banking community that having an excellence model in place increases the value of a business. Some banks here in Canada add a 1.5 multiple to the value of a business, which allows the business to be sold at a higher price or borrow more money. And the rationale being is that the owner or operator can be absent and the business continues to run well. In short, this toolkit provides a platform for long-term organizational success. And if we take a look at the professional who might be using this toolkit, it provides a lot of benefits for them as well. Uh, they're in the place where they're working within an organization, let's say offering training to the employees, or they might be an external professional working with a variety of organizations offering their consulting and training services. But for them, it really provides an integrated model and a process that works. These tried and true practices have been validated to work over two decades now. And uh, I can vouch for this, my personal experience in consulting and training uh, in this area since 1990 has shown me with organizations across sectors what a difference it makes. What it does is it really just serves to transfer knowledge and to enhance the skills and the, and the capabilities within an organization and it allows that organization to depend on its employees to, to get this heavy lifting done. You're there as a consultant or trainer to provide additional help as required. But really what it does is it, it teaches organizations how to fish so they can fish for themselves. It also uh, serves generalists that wish to use a holistic approach with organizations that want to implement the entire model, or the specialists that might want to use a modular approach just to meet the specific requirements of the organization.
for the professional, it really offers a global cost-effective program that is based on global excellence models, includes implementation guidelines that are used by seasoned management consultants, and it gives you that turnkey toolkit with the publication, the series of workshops, and the automated assessment and reporting tool that allows you to do the work that you need to do over time with an organization to help them improve their performance and really get good results. It also helps to develop follow-on assignments that may demand your special expertise. You might have greater breadth or depth in a certain topic area that will add additional value to the organization. It provides that uh, value with a balanced system of measurement, really allows you to demonstrate and show the return on investment uh, that has occurred if you measure uh, where the organization is before or after an assignment. It also automates repetitive tasks so that professional can concentrate on the delivery of higher order services. And last but not least, it aligns with prestigious award programs for those organizations that are seeking external recognition. Around the world, we have national excellence award programs in about 65 countries. We have the Global Benchmarking Network that has the International Benchmarking Award. And we have the Center for Organizational Excellence Research that has an International Best Practice Award. So there's also uh, the Best Managed Companies Award that um, has started in Canada and is now moving into other countries. And so this sort of program really helps organizations that want to seek that external recognition for the hard work that they've done and, and the good results that they've been able to achieve. Just taking a look at uh, you know, this, this uh, toolkit uh, and, and what goes into it, I want to reflect just for a few minutes on the kind of experience that I bring to the table. Uh, I've been working in this area since about 1990. And since I've developed this uh, toolkit, I've been training professionals in over 20 countries. I'm really pleased to say that the average workshop satisfaction score is sitting at 92%. And in the spirit of continual improvement, always looking for ways to make that better and better. I've been asked to represent Canada on the Global Benchmarking Network and also represent Canada on the Organizational Excellence Technical Committee, which is comprised of individuals that all represent various excellence models around the world. And what we do is we get together and we share knowledge uh, and in, in order to make this whole field of organizational excellence that much stronger. I've also been asked by the Organizational Excellence Technical Committee to administer the very first global assessment on the current state of organizational excellence. And so what we're doing is we're getting organizations around the world, leaders in particular, to self-assess their organizations. So we're getting a read for the first time on the extent to which organizations are characterized by the principles or have deployed the best management practices. And this will break down by organization size, industry sector, and country at the end of the day. So as you can see, this toolkit is based on a considerable amount of experience working in the field, at home, and around the world. Here's some additional uh, information about things that I'm, I'm currently doing. I'm participating on two ISO committees. Uh, one was dedicated to developing a standard for management consulting, and the other one is a new committee that is just starting up, and I'll be chairing the Canadian committee. Uh, we're going to be preparing guidelines for implementing an excellence model and related ISO standards. And, and these standards are in quality, like ISO 9001, or environmental management systems, like 14001, or the occupational health and safety, the social responsibility, these sorts of standards that are related. Organizations want to know well, how do they put a comprehensive system in place uh, and, and, and avoid any fragmentation. So we're going to be developing guidelines uh, to assist with that. I've also been authoring papers for international journals, including authorizing a, uh, authoring a chapter on organizational excellence for a new encyclopedia. I've been speaking at international conferences, and I've been assisting organizations of all sizes and types successfully apply for national excellence awards uh, and, of course, implement uh, the excellence model. 
at the heart, a lot of uh, a lot of this work is really my keen interest in in making a difference. Number one, uh, I wanted to put a toolkit out there in the marketplace that was uh, easy to use, straightforward, used a simple process uh, in comparison to some of the other other products out there in the marketplace. And I wanted to make it cost effective and time efficient so that it could, could be used by any professional anywhere in the world. So this toolkit too, as I, as I take a look around in the global marketplace, is absolutely leading edge on the global stage. There's nothing else like it right now. And at the heart of the work is, is really a, a keen interest I have too in making a difference because I believe that if we can transfer this knowledge to professionals and those professionals can help organizations implement an excellence model, it'll help improve that organization's performance. And if such work is expanded to include organizations across industry sectors or a region, it will make a positive contribution to a local economy, to trade, and ultimately trickle down to impact the resident quality of life. In closing, I'd like to say that I really appreciate the opportunity to share this information about the toolkit and would like to thank Kat and Cogno for making this webinar possible. And now I remain available to answer any questions that you might have. Alrighty, thank you so much, John. Um, so if anyone has any questions for Don, you can feel free to put those in the chat feature on the uh, GoToMeeting panel on the right side of your, of your screen, and uh, she'll be happy to answer those questions. Uh, Don, I, I have a, a question. Of who should use the workshops? I think the workshops are best designed for professionals that have pretty good business acumen, you know, or a body of knowledge that corresponds to best management practices that we use in organizations. And these are usually management consultants, they're business advisory professionals like accountants, uh, they're quality management professionals, project management professionals. These, uh, all these professionals have bodies of knowledge that correspond quite closely to this and they can get up and running with it quite easily. But that said, in the work that I've been doing with, with organizations, I see a keen interest amongst uh, employees throughout the organization to know more about this. And, uh, and with, the, with the right kind of training and development, there is a lot of people that can, can get up and running with uh, this sort of information and do a very good job as a trainer at the end of the day. Alrighty. What, what would you say are some of the unique selling features of the workshops? Well, you know, I really built on my work in this area um, because I had been, uh, you know, a trainer for other national excellence organizations and I had been delivering uh, their workshops, um, you know, as, as one licensed to, to do so. And, I noticed that there was a real opportunity for improvement, and that's why about six years ago I went, to, you know, and went ahead and, and developed the publication and the workshops and and worked uh, with uh, another joint venture partner to do the automated assessment and reporting tool because I thought there's got to be um, a better way to to deliver this sort of training, and so. I, by integrating the excellence models, um, the workshops are unique and universally applicable. It, uh, it's, it's unique in that it uh, aligns with the leading edge toolkit, you know, that includes a publication, the workshops, of course, and uh, the automated assessment and reporting tool. The workshops include facilitation notes, which aren't always readily available in other workshops that are are provided to uh, consultants and trainers. So the workshop notes really are there for the facilitator to give them a good solid guide. And, and then we encourage the facilitators to make the workshops their own too uh, by, by using, using their own words and, and some of their own examples as well. Um, another unique feature is that they're customizable. You know, so that you can, you can customize the workshop, which is very, very important for the audience. They often want to know about what's going on in their own industry sector with organizations just like their own. And they want you to provide all sorts of great examples and, uh, and, and by doing that, by customizing 
then we've been able to appeal to all learning styles. So the things that we include in the workshops really appeal to those visual, auditory, kinesthetic sort of learners. They end up being very entertaining and informative, which I think is another unique selling feature. I, call, I like to call it edutainment. And, and uh, last but not least, they really use a simple and straightforward process. I've noted over time that a lot of other uh, organizations really have a tendency to make this more complicated than it needs to be. And so I've been striving to make the, the information you know, easy to understand, entertaining, informative, and, and use a simple and straightforward process so that an organization can get up and running with this and implement at their own pace uh, and, and you know, utilize the manpower within uh, and really harness the, the knowledge, the abilities, the skills, um, and uh, capabilities of, of their workforce uh, to put this in place uh, quickly and, and at the same time help them build a culture that's really committed to excellence you know, by engaging and empowering their employees. So I think it's got several unique selling features and I think the, uh, you know, the scores that we're getting on the workshops are a bit of a testimonial uh, that uh, it's, it's resonating with organizations because the scores are, are, are high. They're 92%, you know, whether you take a look at training professionals or training employees within an organization, uh, the, the scores uh, provide uh, good feedback for us that we're on the right track. Yeah, definitely. Sounds like it. 92 is very, very good score. Um, what, what sort of uh, price range uh, are the workshops? Well, I've all I've priced all the workshops with the same price. Um, they've uh, there's approximately 40 hours of my time to develop each workshop, just to give you an idea. And um, the the workshops are priced. The retail price is is $200 per workshop. And as I said before, the holistic workshop for both the micro size and the larger size organizations that's like a two for one deal, <laughs> because they're you, you're looking at different practices, you know, as you're as you're guiding an organization uh, through that holistic kind of approach. But then the remaining key management area workshops, each each one of them is two hundred dollars. Uh, and um, I I sat back and I, I wanted to offer a really good price value relationship for the purchaser, um, you know, that wants to use a leading edge and robust program. And I also wanted to make sure that this delivered value for a professional or an organization anywhere in the world. So I was thinking about, you know, people in all sorts of, of different countries that we have around the world and how can we make this as flexible as possible and as cost effective uh, as we can for them. And a unique feature of the workshops uh, is that each workshop can be used multiple times by the professional that has purchased it. Uh, and so that's that's not all that uh, common. Sometimes, you know, providers or sellers ask that that uh, materials only be used once, or sometimes there's intellectual property fees associated with multiple use. So I think what we've got is, you know, a uh, very good price for the workshop. At the end of the day, it's only 2.5 percent of what it costs me to develop each workshop. You know, so I can pass on that value to the professionals uh, that want to use them or to the organizations that want to develop an internal pro a training program for the employees in their organization. Okay, great. Um, well, those are all the questions that, uh, that I'm seeing come through. Um, if anyone has any other questions for Dawn um, that you think about after the webinar, uh, feel free to email me, or Dawn's email is on the uh, screen right now, so you can email her, her directly. Uh, so Dawn, before we conclude, is there anything else that you wanted to say in conclusion? No, I just, uh, I guess I want to share that, um, I guess a little bit of my personal experience in this area and, I, uh, and why I continue to do this work, why I've developed the toolkit is, you know, back in 1990, uh, when I came uh, upon this area of, uh, of excellence models, it really struck a chord with me. I had uh, 
done a master's in business administration. I had been worked uh, in management consulting as a certified management consultant. And, and nowhere in my training, in my schooling, academic programs, had I been introduced to excellence models. And similarly with a professional certification, like a certified management consulting designation, this wasn't included in the curriculum. And when I, when I saw this area of excellence models, I, I, was, uh, I thought it was this beautiful model that brings everything together. And, and I must say that the research that's validated that it works over time and, uh, and my own experience has really shown me that I can, I can work with organizations to help them address almost any issue. It's very, very powerful. And, and it shouldn't be quite uh, as quite a well-kept secret as it seems to be. So this is just part of my wanting to get the information out there into people's hands so they can use it to their advantage and for professionals to make a real difference with the organizations that, that they're working with. The publication is downloadable on the homepage of our website at no charge, and we've got it in both English and Spanish right now. Uh, and the assessment tool, uh, the teaser assessment tool is again on the home page of the website. And then under the list of products and services, you've got access to the full assessment tool. Uh, so those sorts of things are readily available to people that want to use them. And for, for uh, people that want to uh, work with all employees in an organization to assess their organization or work with a number of organizations across an industry sector or want to do an assessment, let's say, of a region, they, they'll have to work with us to do that. Just the way the assessment tool is structured, we have to go in and, and aggregate uh, results to help uh, create the, you know, the end report. But these, these tools um, are available. I want to make them available to those that want to use them to really make a difference at the end of the day. So the publication, the automated assessment and reporting tool, and the workshops will provide that really turnkey toolkit that helps you really from start to finish uh, in working with uh, organizations. And we have within organizational excellence specialists, we have a licensing program for those that want to work with us in our international consortium of consultants and trainers. And in-house, we've got you know, additional materials that make it easier to customize. Uh, the programs and do the work and we've got alliances that keep us uh, on top of the leading edge practices and uh, keep our fingertips on the latest information so that we can continue to update these materials. Excellent. Okay, great. Um, well, I uh, again, I don't see any further questions that have, that have come through. So. In conclusion, I'd like to thank you very much, Dawn, for joining us today and hosting today's informative session. Um, if you happen to have any questions that you think about for Dawn after the webinar, again, you feel free to email myself directly or uh, you have Dawn's email address right there on the screen. If you want to jot that down, you can email her directly. And then I do want to thank everyone again for attending today's webinar. Be on the lookout for the email that we'll be sending uh, later today or tomorrow at the latest uh, that will have the uh, discounted courses uh, from Dawn as well as the link to our YouTube channel that will have today's, uh, today's webinar recorded, uh, uploaded on there. Uh, if you have any questions about any training solutions or if you have any training needs, feel free to email me directly at cat at cogno.com. Cat is K-A-T at cogno.com. So again, Dawn, thank you so much for joining us. And everyone, thank you so much. And I hope to see you at a future Cogno webinar event series. Thank you, Kat. It's been my pleasure. Thank you.